Rabbi Al-Azim. In the sujood, Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la. So in every raka'ah, we have to repeat that to show, to attract us and to show the importance of a tasbih. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala also commanded us to do tasbih all the time. What does it mean all the time? 24 hours. Really? Yeah. The ayah that we, we just mentioned, فَاصْبِرْ عَلَى مَا يَقُولُونَ وَسَبِّحْ <coughs> Sorry. بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ قَبْلَ طُلُوعِ الشَّمْسِ وَقَبْلَ غُرُوبِهَا وَمِنْ أَنَاءِ اللَّيْلِ فَسَبِّحْ وَأَطْرَافَ النَّهَارِ لَعَلَّكَ تَرْضَى <coughs> So Allah is saying, so be patient over that they say and glorify Allah with praise of your Lord when? See now. Number one. Before the raising of the sun. Number two. And before it's sitting. Number three. And during periods of the night, glorify him. Number four. And at the ends of the day, that you may be satisfied. So it means all the day, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the midnight, before the, the sun uh, rays, uh, before the, sa the sun uh, set. So it's all your day must be covered and you must fill it with a tasbih but practically speaking can we do the tasbih as a human being can you do the tasbih 24 hours hmm. it's it, it sounds that it, it's difficult if it's not impossible that's why subhanallah uh, and nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he taught us uh, a very specific and a very wonderful formula of the tasbih it's like i when i read this it's like i feel like uh, nabi sallam he knows that when uh, al mu'min knows about the meaning of the tasbih and start feeling this meaning with his heart and start understanding its virtues uh, the mu'min sure 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 he will uh, he will want um, to do tasbih from his heart all the time to do tasbih with every single cell in his body all the time non-stop he feel in love with the tasbih the mu'min but how can how can he do the tasbih 24 hours so in nabi sallam he taught us a very short formula a very short uh, zikr of the tasbih but the reward is infinite reward it's like you are doing a tasbih in an infinite number this uh, tasbih is a uh, well-known one and the nabi sallam advised us to do it in the morning and in the afternoon the tasbih is subhanallah wa bihamdih so this is the tasbih it means uh, Subhanallah wa bihamdih, yes, glorifying Allah uh, with His praise. Adada khalqih, as many times as the, as the number of His creatures. Warida nafsih, in accordance with His good pleasure. Wazina ta'arshih, equal to the weight of His throne. Wamidada kalimatih, and equal to the ink that may be used in recording his words subhanahu wa ta'ala wow so it means we are doing a tasbih in infinite number when Allah, when when the nabi sallallahu say equal to the ink that may be used in recording the words we know that Allah words are infinite so when I am doing a tasbih in this way, in this formula, I am doing a tasbih more than 24 hours. Actually, I am doing a tasbih in infinite number. It's very powerful. And actually, this, this dua or this type of tasbih, and Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught it to his wife, Juwayriya bint al-Harith one of Ummahatul Mu'mineen and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi wife and she was reporting this hadith is reported in Muslim so uh, Juwayriya bint al-Harith radiyallahu anha she was saying or she said the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came out from 
my room in the morning and I was busy in performing the down prayer. She was busy doing her prayer and her dhikr in the morning. He came back in the afternoon and found me sitting there in the same place. So the Prophet said, Are you still in the same position as I left you? So she replied, she said, I replied in the affirmative. Yes, Ya Rasulullah. So then the Prophet said, I recited four words three times. After I had left you, I recited three words three times. What are these three words? It's Subhanallah wa bihamdih, adada khalqih, warida nafsih, wa zinata arshih, wa bidada kalimatih. He mentioned this three times. So he said, I recited four words three times after I had left you. If these are to be weighed against all you have recited since morning, this will be heavier. This tasbih, these four words three times, it's heavier than all the avkar that you were doing from the morning until afternoon. So this beautiful sigha uh, of the tasbih the Nabi Sallallahu taught us uh, to help us to, yeah, to enjoy our tasbih. Even if we do it three times in the morning, this specific tasbih, and three times in the afternoon in avkar al-sabah and al masa so it's like we are doing the tasbih the whole uh, the whole day and the reward is infinite number why because we are doing tasbih in infinite number to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala another thing my dear sisters um, what help us if we want really uh, to, to to start in this ramadan ramadan training ourselves to, to do tasbih in a correct way, to do tasbih uh, and feeling the meanings of the sixth meaning of the tasbih and uh, <clears throat> understanding the meaning and feeling this meaning. One of the best way is doing the tasbih while reflecting on God's creation. Doing the tasbih while reflecting, reflecting on God's uh, creation, uh, the universe, the heaven, the earth, the birds, the trees, the rivers, the seas, whatever. So when you are reflecting on God's creations, so you will feel it will help you to feel the meanings of the tasbih and to start uh, how to say and to start uh, expressing uh, the virtues of the tasbih in your life. In your life. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, mentioned that in Surah uh, Ali Imran uh, 191 Those who remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala standing, sitting and lying down on their sides وَيَتَفَكَّرُونَ فِي خَلْقِ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ And think deeply about the creation of the heavens and the earth. رَبَّنَا مَا خَلَقْتَ هَذَا بَاطِلًا And they will say, Our Lord, you have not created all this without purpose. سُبْحَانَكَ فَقِنَا عَذَابَ النَّارِ Glory to you. Give us salvation from the torment of the fire. So one of the techniques, one of the way that help you doing tasbih with khushu' with um, feeling the all the the six meaning of the of the of the tasbih is is uh, when you reflect on God uh, creation. So we can start uh, training ourselves in this Ramadan. Since in Ramadan usually people do uh, more dhikr, read more Quran, do more tasbih, more dhikr. So let's start, let's start training ourselves to do tasbih in this uh, wonderful uh, way and to try to reflect on God's creation. Maybe of course some of you they will say, oh uh, Sister Halima, you know we are luck in our um, lockdown in our houses so we cannot go out and see the nature 
and uh, reflect on God's uh, creation. Do your best. If you can see the sky and some clouds from your window, so yeah, reflect on that while you are doing the tasbih. If you have a small garden, go out in your garden, sit there in your garden and do the tasbih, just to train yourself. Uh, if you don't have a window, or you have a window but you can't see the sky, you see only these big and tall buildings, uh, so go watch a video of nature, make the sound off and watch this uh, nature, uh, pictures of nature's, nature uh, and while doing the tasbih. The, the purpose, the goal is that you train yourself uh, doing the tasbih in a different way, in a khushu' way, not uh, repeating a word that you have already memorized and you keep repeating, repeating without uh, understanding uh, the meaning and without feeling the meaning. This is my, my dear sisters, we reach the end of the dars, uh, which title is Ibadat uh, al-Tasbih, the worship of al-Tasbih. Uh, we will ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us among those who make tasbih with full heart and make us enjoy and live and witness the benefits of tasbih in dunya and in akhira wa akhiru da'wana and alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh